in this video we're gonna go over a quick reddit post actually called chat gpt4 and bid journey posted by cultural reset about a week ago and it goes over a very specific prompt on basically teaching chat gpt all about mid journey and how it works and the different values and the different prompts and how to put things in terms of getting it right aspect ratios etc troubleshooting a little bit and then trying it out because uh, just by the look of it it can create some very beautiful images so I will put the link to uh, this reddit post in the comments or I, oh, I could just drop the, uh, the post itself so yeah basically um, I need some help with text to AI software called Midjourney. this is how we use it this is what it's used for sure I'd be happy to help what ideas have you have in mind? So when you get that response, you can say, I need help creating a new background for my computer. Paper. Um, food. food photography. All right. I will see what this has to offer. Ooh. <laughs> it's creating a bunch here. So, AR, aspect ratio, 9 by 16 is going to be more vertical. 16 by 9 is going to be like more landscape, like the computer we're working on now. S600, that's going to be the style. So, how much. Uh, I guess you could say like creativity, how wild it is, how artistic it is. Um, the lower the style, you're going to be looking at more um, straight, bland kind of images. The higher the style, the more crazy and wacky it gets. The chaos, similar to style, is going to give you some random values. So imagine Mid Journey throwing in some of its own words and its own flavor. It'll look at the shot differently. It'll ignore some words and put some in uh, the higher chaos you get goes up to a value of 100 or zero so it can uh, really vary there I, I like to play around with like chaos 30 um, if I'm like looking for ideas and it'll actually give me some really good ideas and then v5 is just standard so let's give these a try a single ripe avocado on a white plate with natural light and shadows I like how it keeps it plain and it doesn't over complicate it because I feel like mid journey actually just works best when um, you just give it some room to work with because then you can always hit refresh. All right. Slash imagine. Let's see what that comes up with. And we'll work on the second one. A bowl of mixed berries on a plain wooden surface. All right, let's check it out. As you can see, I'm not putting V5 and I didn't ask the bot to slash imagine or anything like that because just basically typing slash i and then tab is, is pretty darn easy if you ask me. With my plan I can get uh, I think up to three or four at a time, so let's just get her going. A cup of coffee on a saucer. Saucer with a minimalist white background. A single bean coffee. With a single coffee bean beside it. Again, minimalistic. You can see different aspect radio ratios already. Oh, ooh, okay. Yeah, I was doing some food photography earlier. Uh, I'm gonna create a video on this next, basically teaching you how to um, set the stage for different photography. I think some of these photos came out just absolutely perfect. Oh, <laughs> get excited for that one coming out. I'll post the, um, the prompt in the chat below, but yeah. Bowl of mixed berries, okay, and then while that loads, I'm gonna say great. Um, I always like to compliment the AI. I feel like it's uh, putting the karma forward. Let's do that one more time for the prompt. Beautifully renovated. Oh, 
Let's see what it has to do here. So I made a bunch of kitchen photography, architectural photography in the past, and oh man, interesting. So as you can see here. We might just have to interesting, I'm happy to help you. Okay, okay, there we go. So I think the key here is you have to mention, can you help me create some prompts? Because before, it looks like I, um, I don't know, I said, can you help me make a prompt? Uh, interesting. Worst case scenario, I think you just gotta repaste that big line in there, reteach you what to do. AI is getting better and better at learning, making it more conversation based. I like how it gives you a bunch here, not just one. All right. So, which right living room, high ceilings, large windows, modern minimalist furniture. And again, it's not really necessary to copy the V5. We'll have to look at these in a second. Although they are looking pretty good already. Oh yeah, these ones are <laughs> looking beautiful. All right, let's take a look at the berries. And the avocados and the coffee, all right. So, I mean, that's pretty darn clean. I feel like that's just V5 doing its work, you know? The avocado's a little messed up. The colors are all right, but I feel like uh, this is the only really stunning one. As you can see, this is a off-colored skin. The avocado's a little messed up. And then this one, I feel like the filter on the photo is just not as good. I'm picky about stuff like that. I feel like uh, your clients would be too. These berries do look amazing though. I feel like it has berries really good. Sometimes it invents a berry, you know, something that looks like a cherry or a grape kind of put together. But uh, all these look fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a bunch of berry there. None of these ones look. Oh yeah, just clean. Just super clean. Beautiful. Nice cup of joe. Alright, let's check out these architecture ones. Beautiful! Oh my gosh, give me a little car in the back. Canadian pines. Big tall ceilings. See, in real estate, you don't really want a big tall ceiling because all your heat kind of escapes and you're just cranking out heat all day to try to heat up down here as heat rises. Those feelings are actually better, but it looks beautiful with all the light coming in. Mm. I noticed when I was trying to do real estate photography on my own, you'd see watermarks occasionally, stripes across the photo, lines, watermarks in the corner, because I'm fairly certain a lot of uh, photos are watermarked on Google Images or wherever I get it from. But I'm not seeing any watermarks on this, so that's the one advantage of uh, beautiful prompts. Beautiful prompts. Look at the lighting. Oh my. Yeah. Anyway, guys, there you have it. Um, in the description of the video below, I'm going to put exactly what you need and a link to the Reddit post. So that you can hop on here, you can go into discussion, give the guy some kudos for finding that out, and you can play around with uh, the exact 
types that you like. And again, that's a little bit of troubleshooting. You might have to repost the prompt just to kind of get it back on track again. But man, that's minimal work for just the stunning photos as you've seen there. Yeah, anyway guys, thanks for listening. Uh, be tuned for the next video. Subscribe so you can check out how we can do very, very realistic food prompts uh, with minimal effort just by changing a couple words. I'll give it all to you in the next one. Thanks guys, have a good one.